So let's talk a little bit about sales and why companies unnecessarily are losing a lot of money. Hey everyone, this is Eric Tyrell, keynote speaker from Sweden, Scandinavia. And today I'm coming to you from beautiful Spain. I'm just outside of Alicante and I'm checking out my future Spanish uh, home just by the sea. It's so very beautiful here. I'm, I can't wait to move in in uh, about six months or so. So me and some other speakers from Sweden, we are planning to do this big uh, speaking event in Stockholm. So we're looking for this big venue or theater to host this event. And I checked out the internet and I got the number to one of the nice big theaters in Stockholm. And I called them and I got this salesperson. I said, hello, my name is Eric. I'm a speaker. We want to do an event maybe at your place in a couple of months. Are you available this date? And she said, yeah, that date is free. So then I asked, okay, so how much will it be? And she couldn't answer me directly and she said, I have to get back to you on that. I said, fine, no problem. Just call me back. Maybe you can send me an email or, or like call me back. Here's my number. And I hang up the phone and I was expecting her to get back to me that day. You know, because I said we're, we're checking out some other theaters as well. And she didn't call me back. So I waited for one day, two days, three days. Finally, after three days, I called her back uh, to ask, hey, what's going on? So I got this phone answering machine. So I left a big message like, hey, are you interested in doing any business at all? Like, uh, how much is it? It's almost like I'm begging to buy here. And unfortunately, I see this going on in a lot of big different companies and in different industries as well, that there's no system in place for following up leads and contacts, or maybe sometimes there's no will to do it. And you're losing business doing this. Actually, I was doing a speech last week for a big car company. And uh, the manager came up to me and he said that we are losing 12% of sales because the salespeople don't follow up on their leads. There are two reasons for this. Maybe there are more reasons, but I can come up with two right now. Number one, there's no system in place for following up leads. Secondly, I think in their minds, salespeople very often disqualify potential clients and customers. And they're thinking things like, ah, that person is not gonna buy, ah, that person doesn't have any money. And you never know who's gonna buy or not. And nowadays, there are so many good systems for helping you following up on your clients, CRM systems, for example. And I had none of that on my first sales job that I had 14 years ago. And my system was very simple. Uh, when I got in touch with a new potential client or customer, I wrote down all the information about the customer and I put it in a folder. And I put this folder on my desk so I could see it all day. And for each time I uh, got in touch with a new customer, uh, I made a new folder. So finally I had a lot of folders there and I didn't want to have those folders there because I want to have kind of a closure on all the deals. So the only way I could remove a folder was if the customer said either yes or no. And I got a lot of no's. Uh, but you know the saying, if you get a lot of no's, you also get a lot of yeses. And that was actually the truth for me. So make sure that you or your company has a waterproof system of following up on your potential clients and customers. If you don't do this, you will lose business. And secondly, uh, it's perceived as bad service. And bad service is very, very expensive today because you know, people talk to people and if they don't like you, they will post things about you on the internet or on Facebook and suddenly you have a big rumor going on and that's very, very bad for business. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you soon again. Thank you. Bye-bye.